Good afternoon, everybody. I hope we are all doing very well. And as always, welcome back to another YouTube video. Now, from the feedback that I got from the latest YouTube video with it being a little bit shorter, with me having a voiceover in it, um, and with me actually giving a little bit more so advice, guidance, informative speaking, whatever you want to say, rather than just the, the normal rubbish about turkey rashers and turkey bacon and bagels. Um, I, I thought I would continue this on just for maybe a couple more videos. Don't get me wrong, I'm not going to do these absolutely every single week. However, um, if I can provide any sort of value whatsoever to you guys, um, that is also a really good, um, a really good heads up for me as well. So, a couple of little topics I wanted to talk about within this one was definitely mindset and something I like to call controlled aggression. Now, as you would have seen me approach this set here um, in my leg day of my seven plate Cybex hack, you would have seen me mentally get ready over anything else. You would have seen me keep my head down, place my hat lower on my head. Um, I, I would select my song, which I was going to listen to for my top end set. Of course, I would get my wraps ready. I would get everything ready. However, I would just be able to really level myself up and take my, myself to a place where um, I won't really be unlocking this sort of place throughout pretty much the rest of the workout, if, if in any workout whatsoever. Um, now, this is definitely something that we do like to call controlled aggression. What this does mean is um, you essentially change your persona for that given um, set and it does mean that you have to take yourself away to a place that, that might not be nice whatsoever but you are only within that place um, for, for example, anywhere between 20 and 30 seconds for that set. So don't get me wrong, you're not this person throughout your full session whatsoever. Um, you are essentially within this, just in the set. So as you'll see me psyching up for things like my deadlifts, as you'll see me psyching for things like my hack squats, um, big barbell squats, I should say anyway, maybe not leg press patterns, but depending how heavy I am going. However, this is definitely something that you have to kind of take on board. It's not something that you can just do. Once again, over experience, this has been able to be built up and controlled aggression can definitely unlock them last few reps within a set that you might think you might not be able to take because they are definitely not the easiest things on the planet to be able to do. Um, I have really been able to build up my um, controlled aggression throughout the years of my training. Um, it is something that I like to use, especially on my bigger compounds, especially if I'm going to be doing something that... Um, may or may not be, for example, um, possible as a natural bodybuilder um, because of course I get that a lot. However, it's something that I like to use a lot and it really does help me throughout um, my sets. It doesn't mean you have to just turn on and be a dick for the rest of your session. That's not the way it is. Um, you're essentially utilizing a, a tool that you have um, for that given set, you're in and you're out and it's the job done and it's just like that. Um, but as we move away from that, you've then got the mindset towards just training in general because I often get asked about the mindset and training and I really feel as if this is absolutely huge when it does come to it. Now, first of all, obviously, here's my full leg workout for today. For anybody that wants to uh, maybe give it a go, you can obviously do that. You can try it out, see how you feel. Any questions, don't hesitate to drop them down below. We've got line leg curl, extension pre-activation, Cybex hack, pause leg press, extensions, prime leg curl, RDLs, calf raises and the doctors to finish with all of your sets. But like I said, guys, if you have any questions, never hesitate to drop them down below. Um, but back onto the second topic of what I wanted to cover within this video, we've got the mindset towards training because this is definitely something that I, I get asked about often um, and sometimes it does lead down to the controlled aggression side and that's why I thought it was more so appropriate to bring these both into this one video because it does kind of come hand in hand but the mindset has always got to be stronger than just the controlled aggression throughout one set in the gym because if your mind is up your arse, your head will be up your arse, your set will be up your arse your session will be up your arse and that is not what you are wanting because if you think about it if you come into the gym and your mind is not strong enough towards what you are planning on doing this could be from a progressive overload approach this could be be from um, just you going in and training at a higher volume and um, this could be you going in and trying to um essentially do one more rep than what you've done the, the week before. This could be you coming in to try and improve your execution. This could be you just coming in to even just train legs rather than training chest. The mindset has always got to be in that position where it, it literally has no self-disbelief whatsoever anywhere near 
your um your session anywhere near your training anywhere near you in general i for one i i I genuinely could not think of a single thing worse than self-disbelief because the second you have disbelief on what you are capable of is the second that i like to always say it guys you are setting a limitation on what you can and what you cannot do and the second that you have even even at a tiny percentage, I'm talking like 0.000001% of disbelief of what you are capable of without using drugs. So obviously guys, I, I'm putting this more across towards the natural bodybuilding side of things. But the second that you have that little tiny percentage of what you are capable of and what you are not capable of, um, it's the second that you're setting that limitation on what you can do and what you can't. And the second you do that, that is when you will not go any further than that limitation, than that limit, than, than that place that you know where you are comfortable off. Because that place that you know you're comfortable off, yeah, it might hurt, it might be hard, it might be sore, but you're stopping yourself from pushing yourself any further than that, in which that is simply just setting a limitation on what you can and what you cannot do. And that is a one-way ticket for your progression to eventually stop. This is then when you see people call the genetic card, I can't go any further, I can't do this, I can't do that. It's never down to that. It's always down to the disbelief that you set on yourself. So that is why your mindset towards what you do. And this can be carried over to anything, not just training. But because this is a training video, we'll keep it towards the training side. Your mindset is always going to be the dictator of what happens and what doesn't happen. Um, and my mindset, I always have felt and what I've been able to build it up to, um, especially throughout my years of training and what I've been able to see with the natural um, body itself is actually capable of without using that extra assistance is honestly crazy guys so if there's one thing that I could not recommend more start believing in yourself so much more start giving yourself that time where you know your mind is, is able to take you a lot further than where your body is actually because the second your body starts getting sore is the second that something just clicks in your mind and thinks right that's me I'm done I, I can't do any more now um, or you might hit failure three or four times trust me even I fail, like I, I genuinely fail so many times. That doesn't mean that that's you finished. That doesn't mean that you can't go any further. That should always be the thing that allows you to keep that underdog mentality of always making sure that you can do more, always making sure that you can come back, always making sure that you can come back with an even better attitude, always making sure that you're remaining positive to be able to come back because the second any negative thoughts also creep into your mind, that is when you will start going down the way, that is when you will start setting limitations on yourself and that is well, well that, that is genuine when you will stop moving forward even though you're essentially just putting a big brick wall up in front of your potential progression because that is exactly what it is now that is me done guys any questions on these two topics do not hesitate to drop a comment down below please like please subscribe please let me know what else you would like to see in this channel if you are enjoying these videos i appreciate it a lot i'm very much happy for that if you're not enjoying these videos please just tell me but apart from that i hope Everybody has an absolutely fantastic evening, day, morning, whatever time you're watching this video, and I'll just catch up with you all in the next one.